Well hey everyone, welcome back to the series Building a Strip Mall. In this video we'll be doing this pet store. Now don't worry if you're not wanting this pet store in a strip mall and you want this pet store all to itself, I'll be showing you two different designs for this build. So I hope that you all enjoy this tutorial and if you do please hit that like. Now let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back everyone to the series building a strip mall. Now this right here is what we have so far. A GameStop, Papa John's, a Radio Shack, a Dollar General, and then a Verizon store. So this right here is pretty much a finished area. So all this together is pretty much one build all together. So what we're going to do, we're going to go across the parking lot right over there and we're gonna do that pet store now something real fast I'll be using the high definition texture pack on the PS4 so again use whatever blocks that you need to use for this build right here also I didn't explain how far apart all that there was from the surrounding areas like the Verizon I didn't tell you how far apart from the Hobby Lobby or any of that was from this Publix over here that's because I don't know what's in your world so pretty much have all this right here have a good enough area a big space uh, plenty enough for all that together now this over here will be pretty much well you know just a new strip mall area so this right here this will be the first build of this part of the strip mall just like how we first started up with that GameStop right over there. Alright, now I'll be showing you two different ways to build this. If you guys aren't wanting this here as a strip mall, you can have it all together, all to itself. So, let's go ahead and get this started. Now, for the ones that who are following the strip mall series that I'm doing, I'll be showing you what I'm going to do for the first design is I'm going to have an alleyway across this side here and an alleyway across the back. I will not have windows across the back or across that side. I will have windows across the front and across this side here. Now both the front and this side will look the exact same. The back and that side will look the exact same. The fronts and the backs will look different from each other. Now if you're doing a pet store all to itself and you're not wanting this to be in a strip mall, I'll be showing you a different design and that design will be all four sides pretty much the exact same having windows all the way around the build. Well, Alright now here it is in the city texture pack. This will look very similar to what we'll be doing just different blocks. So as you see right here, this is the front of the build and it looks the exact same as this side right over here. So again, the front and the side will look the same and then as you see we have windows across this side and we have windows across the front all the way across. Now what I'll be doing differently than this build here is you see we have windows across this side I'll be taking those windows out and also we have windows across the back and I'll also take those windows out as well because I'll be changing it up and having an alleyway across the back and an alleyway across this side right here. But if you do want to keep this design, I'll again I'll show you in the tutorial. So as you see the windows is three by three right here and they're pretty much the same all the way around but again I'll be taking those out alright now you see the blocks that I chose in the city texture pack the sandstone the dark wood planks 
I also chose the light gray wool, the quartz stairs, quartz slabs, the rooftop here, acacia wood, but again I'll be changing it up in the other texture pack. Well, Alright, now I hope that I did not confuse any of you, and if I did, I'm sure it will make sense later on as we build. Now again, this texture pack is the high definition modern texture pack on the PS4, and now let's go ahead and get started. So, as you all know, all texture packs are completely different. I really wanted to use the sandstone in this texture pack for these pillars, but the sandstone in this texture pack is too bright yellow. So I'll be using the mossy cobblestone for this. You guys can choose any blocks that you really want, but I'll be showing you the actual design and you could just change up if you want to. So again, I'll be using the mossy cobblestone. You guys need brick or something like that. And we'll be going, we'll start right here and then we'll go along the left and then go around that side over there. So what I'll be doing is placing a 2x2 two two with that block there. And then looking straight down at it like this, as you see, we have the red nether brick. Again, you can choose whatever block right here. So you're going to go in like that. And then right here will be windows, a 3x3 three three window right here. So I have the light gray wool. You guys can use stone blocks so three of those there and then that block right there on the other side of the window all right now you're gonna come back out another two by two with this block all right and then you're gonna go inwards again with this block and then another three with this and then this block again and then you're going to take this block and just do two. It's not going to be a two by two, just two like that. All right, and then you're going to go back and then do another three here like that. And then this block here, and then you're going to do another two by two. Now this build is extremely simple. It's pretty much the same thing all the way around. So you see right here. If this here was a 2x2, two two, it would be the exact same. That's pretty much the only thing that we're changing up, is we're just going to make this a 2 like that. Alright, now, right here will be the entrance. You're going to go in a block here, have 3 here, block here like that, a 2x2. Two two. So in between these 2x2 two two pillars will be the entrance. And then you're going to pretty much copy right over there. So I'm going to do this kind of quickly here. So you're going to go in like this. Long three here. Block here. Two here. Block here. Go along three here. And as I do this, guys, I'm going to ask you, please, let me know what you think down below of this build. Let me know what you think of the series. Leave a like down below. I would really appreciate that. And also, what texture pack are you guys using? If you're using a different texture pack, please comment what blocks did you choose other than me. That will help others as they build. Alright, now we have the front of it just like that. And we're going to do the exact same across this side. So again, looking straight down at it, you're going to have this here, two by two here, in a block, and it's pretty self-explanatory, I don't want to drag this out and make this too complicated or too annoying, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead and finish this side here. Alright, now once you have this side here and this side here done with the foundation, now let's go ahead and go right over here where we first started off at with this 2x2 two two right here. Let's go to the right of it and now let's talk about if you're going to have windows across the side, across the back or not. So across the front here I'm going to have the black 
stained glass panes and they're going to be three across like that they're going to be a three by three across the front here and across that side over there now if you're going to have them here it's going to be the exact same you're just going to have windows like this this is going to come up and going to be the exact same all the way around now if you're not going to have windows you're going to do something like i am just go ahead and take this block here and fill this in like that I think I'm going to actually just have windows right here and on the other side and then along right here not have windows and I'll explain what I'm talking about. That's only if you guys are following along with the strip mall series so you guys can have windows all the way around and have it the same as this front and that side over there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and continue the same foundation. Go in like this. Have a skip here. Do this. I'm Me personally, I'm just going to have windows right there on this side. And then again, the same foundation. So just go ahead and copy what you have right over there or across this side here. It's the same exact block placement. The only thing that's going to be different is if you can have windows across the side here or not. So again, I'm not going to have windows right there. I'm just only going to have windows right there. So what I'm going to do is just continue this along and I'll be right back. Alright, now as you see, I made it to the back right here. And again, I'm not going to have no windows here. You see right here where the gray is, that's where if you was going to have windows and this is what looks like all the way across this side alright now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same as what I just done right over here so right here I'm going to have windows one two three and then come up and then it's going to be the same exact block placement for the foundation what we've been doing and right here I'm not gonna have windows so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead and be right back all right now once you have your foundation figured out and you have everything decided what you're gonna do now let's go ahead and look at the sidewalk real quick so across this side here I have the anisite slabs and they're two blocks across and they go all the way down and then they step down right here at this pillar and they step right back up at this pillar right in here I have the anisite full block and then I have the anisite wall here one in the middle and then one here I have the yellow cross here for caution and right over here we have the exact same thing so the sidewalk goes all the way around this side does the same thing alright now if you guys are doing the windows all the way around then what I would do if I was you I would just go ahead and continue the sidewalk just like this all the way around now if you're gonna do like I'm gonna do and have an alleyway across this side with no windows the same over there then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this slab right here and I'm gonna go ahead and come on down like this and this here or just simply fill in just like so there's no need to have a flower bed crossed the back where there's an alleyway because you know why make it look all pretty if there's just an alleyway back there so what I'm gonna do is just take this right here one two three four and fill this in and I'm gonna do the exact same across this side as well alright now what you're gonna do let's go right here where we first started off at and let's look at these pillars right here so this pillar here you need to bring up 
a total of 16 blocks and that's counting this block so you're going to add 15 to here and it's going to be the, the full 2x2 two two up total of 16 again counting this bottom block alright now this one right here the same exact as this one so both of those are 16 total and this one here is going to be total of 10 blocks counting this block here so you're going to add 9 to what we have here so again total of 10 for this one okay now for this one where well the entrance is going to be a little bit taller so this one here is going to be 18 so again counting this block will be a total of 18 you're going to add 17 on top of what we already have so this is 18 and this one here is also 18 so again those two is the same now this one here is going to be again this will be 10 this here will be 16 and this here will be 16 so go ahead and do that same thing across this side here across the back and that side as well so all four sides will be exact same on the pillar count alright now once you have all of your pillars up just like this all the way around then what we're gonna do now let's go ahead and do these windows across this side here so right over here where we first started off at this block here will add one two three four five right there this will come up the same this will come on across come down a block here come across like that the glass here go ahead and fill this in and this bottom part will be a three by three with glass and right here just go ahead and do this right here now for the windows you're going to do this all the way around if you're going to have all the way around so if you're gonna have wherever you're gonna have windows do this right here now I'm gonna go ahead and do this right here the same thing all the way across right here the entrance is gonna be a little bit different because you know I have a door there but these windows here do the same along this side here will be the same now if you're not gonna be doing the windows along the side here just go ahead and take this one two three four five and just pretty much fill this in right here with this block pretty self-explanatory so what you're gonna do is go ahead and do this where you're not gonna have windows or do this where you will have windows so again this will come on up wherever you're going to have a window at and go ahead and do this alright now once you have all of your windows filled in it should look something like this right here across this side and the same thing again right over here pretty self explanatory easy build so far now along the back again this is what I'm doing let me know down below if you guys are putting windows all the way around or not this is what I have this is what I'm doing alright now what I'm gonna do is the front entrance right here and I'm gonna do the same entrance on the other entrance over there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this black stained glass panes because this is a three block space and if we was to put doors here it would not look right so what we're going to do is we're going to come up right here, three blocks. And then we're going to take this up like this and place an iron bar right there. That will be for the handle of the door here. So then I'm just going to come across like this and then place this glass right up here. So that there will be the entrance for this side. And we're going to do the same thing right over here again pretty simple self-explanatory so let's go ahead and come up right here one two three one two three 
place your iron bars in here this will come on across your glass in here all right now what we're going to do let's go ahead and come straight to the back right over here and if you guys are doing windows back here or not you guys need a back door for shipments and stuff like that we don't need a big old shipment door like like a big store like that we don't need that just need a little two two door here so let's go ahead and knock these out right here I'm gonna be using the iron door here and as you see we have a step up with this half slab so simple enough we're just gonna go ahead and bring this down right here so this will be just like so and let's just come to right here and again guys please let me know what you think down below in the comments and also what block change did you guys use what texture pack and all that other stuff all right so this here we'll just come on across that way we'll have our step down for our door to be placed and it'll look nice and neat all right just like that and then right over here let's go ahead and double that up that way we can put our door here place it on the inside there like that and then this is what you guys should have for the back door all right now let's go ahead and come right over here where we have these pillars here that are 10 blocks tall and what we're going to do is going to take these right here on across like that and these here will do this all the way around the building now also right here above this will be the same way so this will come across like that all the way around the building as well and then what you're going to do in the middle of this grab a white block of choice and go on the inside here and then do that there inside of those alright now once you have this right here with the white all the way around then what you're gonna do is we're gonna take the smooth quartz slab and the smooth quartz stairs and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right over here where we first started off at right here and we're gonna take these stairs right here and we're gonna place them right here upside down and these here will come on across but for right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this block and this will cover up that little cubby hole there this pillar will go all the way up to the very top just like this so you're going to do all the corners the same as what we're going to do right here so this stair will wrap around upside down again this here the same way so you're going to do all four corners the same as what we're doing right here so this will go all the way up all right and this will come on across upside down and then it'll wrap around right here just like that all right now what we're going to do is we're going to take the brown block of choice now in this texture pack this is the gray terracotta you guys can use brown wool or whatever and you're going to go to this pillar here again all four pillars in the corners will be the same so you're going to take this three blocks right there in the middle right here as well 
three blocks in the middle and then this will come on down this will be like a cloth and this will be a three by three just like that right there and then you guys can do that there that looks a little bit better I guess you go ahead and place a stone button right there for like a bracket or a brace or something through there and this right here will come on down just like this right here so go ahead and do this right here on all the corners and then once you've got that then you're going to go ahead and grab the stairs and the slabs and you're going to go right up here and you're going to place the stair like this this will come on across and then you're going to take the slab right on top of that stair and it will go all the way across like that so go ahead and do that all the way around as well alright now this is what you should have now all the way around the build again pretty self explanatory pretty easy build and again guys please comment down below what you think of this build and also drop a like I would really really appreciate it alright now what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and do the roof Alright now when doing the roof I'll be using the red sandstone stairs and the red sandstone full block and this texture pack this is what it looks like right here so again use something similar to these colors also it'll look almost like this color here as well so go ahead and pick whatever color that you guys are going to be using again comment down below what blocks are you guys using again it'll help others as they build and can look down there and figure out what blocks are best alright so these stairs are gonna come up like this right here okay and you're gonna have three so it'll be like this right here so three going up like that and then full block here and then you're gonna have three coming down just like that right there so what you're gonna do you're gonna carry these stairs all the way down up against right here and these stairs here will just come on up these will connect they'll go across just like this this full block here will come on down and then these stairs here will just simply go on down as well just like this right here alright so in between all of these pillars this is what it's going to look like so take this pillar here on the corner and let's go ahead and square it off so to do that come right here just come on across here come across here and just square that off right there then take this on up even with this this side also so you're just gonna go in here and you're gonna fill this right here in fill this right here in and you're gonna do all the corners the same way and then for this here just come down here like this and you're gonna score this off even with this right here so this here again will be even with that this will come on across just like that right there this up here will come on across again self-explanatory that will be filled in this 
this right here will come on across like this. This right here will connect on up. This will come on down. That will be filled in. And then you're going to take these stairs and this full block here. And again, square all this right here up. Do the same thing with the stairs and the full block. Score this up and just do that all the way around. The same thing as what we just did right here. Now this is what you should have once you have all of the pillars squared up. All the way around. And then you have your stairs in between each one of them. So again this is what it should look like. Alright now. Once you've got that, then now let's go ahead and come right here to the front. And what we're going to do to this middle pillar here, we're going to do the same thing to the other middle pillars. We're going to take this block here. We're going to go in right here. We're going to come on across. And what we're going to do is this is going to come straight on up. We're going to cover up that white little cubby hole. Then we're going to take out these stairs and these slabs. My apologies. But just go ahead and come on up. Right to here. And just simply fill this in because we're going to have a nice little pall. We're going to put a pall right here. You'll see what I'm talking about. So just go ahead and do that right there and again do that same thing to the other middle pillars. Alright now once you have all of the middle pillars looking like this and again they'll all look the same. Then what you're going to need to do now is go ahead and grab smooth quartz stairs and what we're going to do on this pillar here we'll go ahead and do on every single one of them. You're going to take these stairs upside down and they're going to go around the entire top of it just like this. And again all the way around it. And you're going to do this on every single one of them. Now once you've got that all the way around all of these then what you're going to do is you're going to take this block here which is the sandstone red sandstone or whatever whatever block that you used right here take this block but the half slab version of it which will be this block here the same block just the half slab version and you're gonna take this right on top of this here and again this will be the same on all of them this half slab will go right on top and then you'll just simply fill this top in right here with this half slab Alright now this is what you should have now. Looking good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab the polished anisite slab and the regular anisite slab. Now you guys can use whatever slabs that you want for filling in the top but that's what I'll be using. Make sure that you use two different types for this part here. So the polished anisite slab I'm gonna go right here and this will go all the way down to here and I'm gonna do this all the way around with this slab here so this will go just like this just like this here and again this will go all the way around and then we're gonna switch to the other slab and then we're going to fill in the rest of it. So this will go all the way across just like that. And then now you're going to grab the anisite slab, whatever slab you guys are using. 
and it will go inside of here and this entire roof will be filled in well, right now once you have it filled in we're gonna go ahead and add things on top of the roof here so you see I have first off air conditioning units up here I've got four of them and just randomly place them around I have an antenna up here and as you see I have these here these are gonna be skylights and I have six of them marked out and we're gonna place them in there I'm gonna show you how to build one skylight and then you're just gonna copy the same thing on the other five so let's go ahead and show you the placement of these here again there's six of them looking down at it like this you can see roughly where they're gonna be placed at they're gonna be six blocks apart so one two three four five six a block apart this way and then in between this way they're gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen blocks in between that way and all six of them are gonna be one two three blocks apart here well four counting this slab here so one two three four blocks from the stair and the same all the way around so four blocks from the stair there all the way around here as well four blocks so that will be the placement of these skylights now let's go ahead and build one skylight and then you can just copy and do the other five so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and mark this out right here and these skylights are gonna be seven blocks by five blocks so going along this way this is one two three four five six seven that way and then one two three four five blocks that way so seven by five and you gotta cut this area here out and then you're going to take the polish and a sight slab right here you're going to double up and then here you're going to come on across double up there come on across double up there and do the same thing here as well now once you've got that get your choice of trapdoor I'm going to use the acacia in this texture pack they're black and I'm gonna come up just like this right here alright now once you've got that then go ahead and choose your choice of glass I'm using the black stained glass full blocks and these here will go right inside of here just like that right there And then this slab here, go ahead and put on the corners, just like that. And then this here will come on across, just like that right there. So again, do that same thing for the other five. Well, right now we're almost done with this tutorial. Now as you see, I have a paw right here we will be replacing this with these blocks down here whatever color that you guys want and don't be scared to be creative you guys can use greens blues yellows or even white I'm not gonna go with white because I don't want too much white in the build I'm gonna actually go with the yellow so I'll use the smooth sandstone slabs and the smooth sandstone stairs try to go with a smooth uh, block if you're able to so again right here at the entrance we will be replacing this pole with these blocks here and also what we're going to do on all of the corners 
we're going to go ahead and grab the smooth quartz stairs and we're going to go right in the middle two blocks so one two and then we'll have this one here and then here is two blocks from the top so what we're going to do we're going to mark that out cut those two holes out there and we're going to take the stair upside down place it in there just like that right there all right now go ahead and do that same thing on all of the corners so that will do that right there on all the corners all the way around and now let's go ahead and do this paw now this paw will be above this entrance and it will be above this entrance here and I'm also gonna do it right here on this middle pillar and I'll also do it right over here on this middle pillar as well so what we're gonna do right over here just go ahead and copy it on the others alright so let's go ahead and look at this right here you guys can pause the video right here and see how it how it is if you need to alright now let's look down here real quick so you see we have from here we have one one and a half blocks you see there so this half slab here see this is a full block and then this half slab you see what I'm saying so it's one and a half blocks from here Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to come up like that. And it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you're going to come up 1, 2, oops, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then you're gonna come up full blocks one two three four five and then you're gonna have three in the middle here and then you're gonna have full block in the middle there and then half slab on both sides just like that right there all right now with this these parts here where this full block here is you're going to take a stair like that and you're going to do the same thing on both sides all right and then you're going to just place a stair like this here and then on top of that you're going to place a slab here a slab here and then a full block just like that all right now from this full block going up you're going to place a stair like that and do the same thing over here as well and then on the back side of that you're going to place stairs just like this now on top of those stairs you're going to place full block slab on top of that and then lastly stairs just like this right here well, alright now that is pretty much it now again guys please comment down below what you think of this build what you think of this series building the strip mall and again this pet store right here you could have either in the strip mall or all to itself like I explained earlier now you see right back here I'm gonna have an alleyway now later on we'll figure out what I'm gonna be building behind it and beside it alleyway on this side as well guys and as you know this right here is gonna be probably about four more buildings five more buildings on the right side of it guys so just stay tuned for the strip mall series if that's what you're following along with me with. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next time.